Привіт, привіт! My name is Ina and welcome to my YouTube channel Speak Ukrainian. In today's video lesson I'm going to teach you how to say in Ukrainian language every day, every week, every month, every year, etc. But before we start, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video and give me your feedback about it in the comments below because it is very important for me to know your opinion and uh, uh, recently I read a comment that somebody uh, wrote me Ina, uh, you are very slow and you uh, explain everything so in details guys, what do you think about it? is it true? because I try to explain you the topic from all perspectives because I know that everybody uh, has different levels in Ukrainian language and different tempo in learning it. So please uh, give me your feedback about it. I want to know it. So, um, the word every can be translated in Ukrainian language as Kozhen or Kozhny or Kozhnoho You can ask me, Ina, what? Why there are three forms? Guys, let me explain you. Don't worry, it's not so difficult. It is confusing a little bit, but every can be used in three forms. Kozhen and Kozhny is the same. Uh, yes, these two forms are adjectives and Kozhen, this is just like a shortened version of Kozhny. And some Ukrainians decided to say like this, they are lazy to uh, use the full version of this word, so we have two forms. And Kozhnoho, this is Kozhny in the genitive case and very often when we talk about some for example time expressions uh, about the greetings very often we use genitive case uh, due to the tradition of Ukrainian language and this is also in the genitive case so for example if you want to say every day people can say uh, literally you say day means den and people can say kozhen den Kozhen den or the same Kozhny uh, den or Kozhnoho den in the genitive case is dnya. Yes, we have a little bit an exception here about this form and if you want to know all exceptions uh, in the genitive case then you need to get my textbook Master Ukrainian Cases where I in details explain you how to use the genitive case in Ukrainian language because this is the most confusing uh, case in Ukrainian language. You can check out more details about my textbook on the website speaky.com. Okay, so Kozhen Deng Kozhny Deng Kozhnoho Dnya So you may hear how Ukrainians say like this or write in the same way if they want to say every day for example but as I said I explain you everything and I give you all variants that are possible in Ukrainian language these variants are possible but they are not actually correct <laughs> in Ukrainian language actually they are correct and literally they means every day but if you want to speak Ukrainian language correct and if you want to sound beautiful in Ukrainian language then with this time expressions we, we form a little bit different forms guys if you want to say every person then you use this three of this uh, one of the three forms like Kozhen uh, Cholovik Kozhny Cholovik or Kozhnoho Cholovika relative case or for example um, every book. Um, Kozhna kniha 
Книга uh, The Feminine Gender. This is adjectives and they have gender distinction. I hope you remember about it. Кожна книга, кож, кожна книга, кожна книга, and uh, кожної книги, genitive case. Okay, but with the time expressions, it's not really correct to say like this. We have the specific forms in Ukrainian language. Actually, specific words, I would say like this. You can say like this. You do. It's not a big deal. You can say кожен день or кожен місяць, кожен рік, кожен тиждень. You can say like this. And you can hear how Ukrainians say like this. But it's not really correct, guys. It's not really correct. Due to the rules of modern Ukrainian language, it is correct to say щодня. So, щодня, 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 it means every day. Щодня, one word. Every week. The word week means тиждень, and every week means щотижня. Що тижня. Every month. Month means місяць. Що місяця. Що місяця. Every year. The word year means рік. And every year is що року. Що року. So you can see, it is correct, it is more Ukrainian to say like this, adding the prefix що, and we form one word, one expression. Щодня, every day, щотижня, every week, щомісяця, every month, щороку, every year. Щодня, дня, день, дня, тиждень, тижня, місяць, місяця, рік, року. What case is that? Genitive. Yes. So, when we form time expressions, we use genitive case. And to form, if you want to say then every Monday, every Tuesday, uh, for example, or every June, how to form? You write this prefix, що, uh, що, it's clear, понеділок, genitive case, понеділка, so, що, по, не, що, по, не, діл, ділка, it means every Monday. So you can see how it works, or, I don't know, every Wednesday, let's take feminine gender word. Що середа, середа in the genitive case is середи, we changed а into и. Що середи, що середи, it means every Wednesday. Okay, guys. So you can see, in this video lesson, I explained you how correct to say and to form in Ukrainian language such uh, time expressions as every day, every week, every month, every year, every Monday, every Wednesday, etc. So now you know how it works uh, and how we Ukrainians use them. So if you want to learn Ukrainian language more, if you want to reach A1 level, this is a beginner level in Ukrainian language, and to learn more than 700 common Ukrainian words and phrases, then I highly recommend you to um, sign up for my course From Absolute Beginner to a Confident Speaker, where together with my support, you will uh, learn all the basic grammar, 
phonetics, vocabulary. So guys, all my six year experience of teaching Ukrainian language, I put in that course. Yeah, you can register for it at my website speaky.com. Guys, if you like my work, if you like this YouTube channel, please subscribe to it and you can support it on patreon.com or you can just donate any sum of money to it. All links, all information you can find to the description of this uh, video. And also I uh, post more <laughs> video lessons on my Instagram account, speak Ukrainian language. So, pobacimo skoro, see you soon, your teacher Ina and papa, bye bye.